Hi, welcome to this quick tutorial about the accounting for cash dividends. A dividend is a distribution by a corporation to its stockholders, usually based on the company's earnings. Dividends usually take one of three forms, cash, stock, non-cash assets. Most dividends are cash dividends. In this video, we will talk about the accounting for cash dividends only. There are three relevant dates for dividends, date of declaration, date of record, and date of payment. Let's go through a cash dividend example now and illustrate those dates. By the way, dividends never impact income. They reduce retained earnings. This example is from real life. Target Corporation declared a dividend of 90 cents on March 10th, 2022 to be paid on June 20th, 2022 to shareholders of record as of the close of business on May 18th, 2022. The date of declaration was March 10th. This is the date that the board of directors announces the dividend. Declaration of the dividend creates a liability for the corporation. The date of record is May 18th. As part of the declaration, the corporation announced the record date, which is the date on which the company looks to see who its stockholders are. Only those who are stockholders on the date of record will receive the dividend. The date of record usually follows the declaration date by a few weeks. The date of payment is June 10th. The payment of the dividend usually follows the record date by a week or more. Now that we've gone through the dates for a cash dividend, let's go through the accounting and journal entries associated with each of those dates. Using the same target dividend announcement, we look at the date of declaration. We know that the date of declaration is March 10th. On this date, the company will debit dividends for $9 million, which is the 10 million shares times the dividend amount of 90 cents. The credit will be a, to a liability called dividends payable for that same $9 million. The debit to dividends decreases stockholders' equity, and the credit to dividends payable increases the company's liabilities. Dividends become a liability on the date of the declaration and not until that date. On the date of record, there is no entry made. The date of record is simply stating that the stockholders who own the stock as of this date will be receiving the dividend when it is paid. Finally, we get to the date of payment. The date of payment in our example is June 10th. On this date, Target will pay its dividend of $9 million and will debit dividends payable to remove its liability and will credit cash to reduce cash for the dividend it is paying. In this journal entry, we are decreasing liabilities and decreasing assets. Note that dividends never impact net income. Remember that a dividend is not a liability until it is declared by the board of directors. A company may have paid dividends every quarter for 100 years, but it does not have a liability to pay a dividend until its board of directors actually declares it. For example, Target has paid a dividend every quarter since October 1967 when the company became publicly held, but it has never had a liability until its board declares the dividend. Most dividends are cash dividends. To pay a dividend, a company must have both enough retained earnings to declare the dividend and enough cash to pay the dividend. Okay, that's it. We are done. This video was created and narrated by Dr. Wendy Teets. Have a great day.